They'll never get to face him and look him in the eyes, but Jeffrey Epstein's alleged victims had their day in court. One by one, over a dozen women stood before a New York City judge and gave their testimonies. Stories of rape and being coerced into performing sexual acts on older men when they were in their teens. All I'm going to say is today is a day of power and strength. I wanted to thank the judge for letting us speak, um, having some closure. Epstein was facing 45 years in prison on charges of sex trafficking when he killed himself in his jail cell earlier this month. His death means that his trial cannot go forward, but the judge called for the hearing, offering an exceptional opportunity for his accusers to be heard. He continued to rape me and when he was finished, hopped off and went to the shower. It was both empowering and infuriating to know that the person who I needed to hear those words is not here to hear them. Do I feel his death was an appropriate punishment? Absolutely not. It gives nobody justice and it leaves a lot of unanswered questions. The U.S. Justice Department is investigating the circumstances surrounding Epstein's death and has vowed to pursue any accomplices in his alleged sex trafficking network. Meanwhile, multiple women have filed civil lawsuits against Epstein's estate seeking damages. But just two days before he died, he put over $577 million worth of assets into a trust fund, a move that will make his fortune much harder to access.